Tomorrow, guest star Emma Sams uses an evil Lois lookalike to terrorize Metropolis. Don't miss the exciting season premiere of Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. The Crypt Keeper is joined by two ghoulish friends to tell an all-new creepy story on Tales from the Crypt Keeper, coming up next. This is ABC. It's here. The Strategic Commander. The first controller designed specifically for the PC strategy gamer. The Strategic Commander connects to your PC via a USB connector and complements the use of the mouse and keyboard in strategy games. It works with your existing strategy games and will work with new games now and in the future. In 2D games, use the Strategic Commander to move around the battle map while keeping your mouse free to select units or buildings as they appear. In 3D games, use Strategic Commander's navigation capabilities to give you the winning advantage. You can program the Strategic Commander to execute commands at the touch of a button. You can program your Strategic Commander's buttons to execute simple commands, such as creating a single building or more complex commands that include multiple tasks, such as creating military units from multiple buildings. These tasks that would have required multiple keyboard commands now can be accomplished with a single press of a button on the Strategic Commander, greatly increasing your efficiency. The three shift buttons located on the side of the controller allow you to program up to four commands to buttons one through six. Advanced players can use the three position profile switch on the base of the controller to access three separate profiles during their game. This increases the number of possible program commands to 72, enough to enhance every gaming experience. Use the record button on the controller's base to program commands during gameplay. Here's how it works. First, press the record button once. Next, press the button you want to program. That button will start blinking. Now, execute the sequence of commands you want to program, and when you're finished, hit the record button again to end the programming sequence. Now, every time you hit that button, it will execute this new command. The Sidewinder Strategic Commander software comes with over 30 strategy game profiles and gives you a single, easy to use interface for viewing, editing, and managing them. The software also allows you to completely customize the device for your own particular style of gameplay. The Strategic Commander software also comes with a complete online user's guide. Okay, I have stared with a uh, forlorn nature at the um, fucking network indicator doing nothing for long enough. It is a red box and apparently it will remain so. It's dropping about half the frames, so that's cool. <sighs> Who knows, man? I finally got my uh, fucking capture PC all popped and ready to go. Every everything configured, every little screw turned exactly to the right place. Every cord plugged exactly where it's supposed to go. Humming like a fine machine and now the internet's taking a massive shit, so. It's just fucking not gonna happen, man. So whatever. Why wait for all all the bits to be in a row? They're always gonna be off. They're always gonna be jumbled. Forever Zero HP. That's a great name. Thank you for the resub. How's it going, everybody? Uh, right. Uh, who's your provider? Spectrum. Formerly Time Warner Cable. That's who. Uh, yeah, I'll let this go for a while. So here's here's how this is gonna work, basically. This is a little little sample for you guys. Um, since since I finally got the stream PC working, I was like, oh, I can finally show off all these pretty PC games. Except now the problem is, uh, it's gonna be like low frame rate and look like shit for you guys, or probably buffer. So that's cool. How's your cable management? It's on point, dude. Um, not inside the case, that's stupid. But outside the case, I got clips. I got clips all over the place. Kinky Korean. Thanks for the resub. What's up, Julian? 
I've been streaming this game on my channel for a few weeks now, and I don't know why, but I just find it so awesome you're going to stream it now. Well, I like it. I used to work for Spectrum, Charter Branch, a few years back. Good luck. Is that an implication that uh, this situation will not improve? I, I can only assume that as as the night goes on and people go to sleep, hopefully, or, or stop watching movies on Netflix or something. I don't know if that's the problem, but... Shit, Halo do that. Thank you for the resub. That is a long time. Yep. Uh, Twitch just says, I have a poor network connection. Which is weird, because I've streamed off this internet before and it was rock solid. So, what are you going to do? How did this get... Did this get ported well to PC? It absolutely did. Very good, very good port. But DJ, disappointment. Hit me with that money. Alright, hold on a minute. Yeah, I just can't play my anime games. God. Uh... And actually, I really like these these options, so I'm going to reuse this later, but here's a little sample of how this should have look. Uh, I start this little poll here. Which isn't showing up. Oh, I think, yeah, I think you got to, like, you got to, like, do it twice. The first one doesn't hit for some reason. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. There we go. There we go. So, the problem is now that I'm not on, uh, I'm not on, like, faster network code, so. But you just type a number in chat to vote for a thing. I let it go for a little bit. And then, uh, once it's, uh, once there is a winner, I will close it, install that game, and then play it. Um, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to rerun this later. But that's essentially how it works. Uh, so you guys get to decide what dumb, large, ridiculous PC game I play. Because this is about celebrating the glories of PCs and how much money you can spend on it and have it still not work. Um, like, whatever fucking problems going on with the internet in the room. But uh, just to be clear, uh, if you see a game you like, you have to type the number and then the vote counts. But duplicates don't count. The thing, the thing will do it automatically. We'll screen them out, so there's no reason to spam. Stuff like that, so. So yeah, I'll, I'd finish it and be like, Oh, he's dangerous, wow, crazy. So. Pull over. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the idea. And I'll do that like every 30, 20, 30 minutes or something like that. Um, and. I got a, I got a buzz ball, because it's Friday. And I cut my fingernails, so I don't go open it. So yeah, I'm going to play this for a, a bit, and then we'll move on. No need to vote anymore. Uh, there is a need to be a cute, cute, lovable, lovable anime boy. He's actually kind of a dick. Actually kind of a, a little pud, that, uh, that Noctis. Yeah, right now it's like half the frames have been dropped. It's it's fucking crazy, man. I it's it's never been this bad. I've done a couple streams, even ones in the evening, but for some reason tonight it just decided to take a massive shit. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This reminds me of uh, yeah, it used to happen back in the old apartment, I guess. I guess sometimes Twitch just uh, can't handle it. Can't take all those bits. Poor little Twitch trying so hard. All right, I'm just. I remember it getting stutters before and going full screen helped it, but then after I went full screen, it didn't do it anymore. Um, but so I'll do that now. As soon as I remember where that is. Yeah. Oh, this might fuck up the Elgato. I forgot about that. Sometimes when you change display mode, it like loses half the screen. All right, fine. That's that's good. Noctis is reasonably upset his dad got murdered. Not yet. Spoilers, dude. Also, there's a get out of here. Reminds me of Droopy Dog. Who knocked us? Yeah, boo! My dad got murdered, boo! No, it's weird. He never exactly uh, expressed a lot of a lot of sorrow over his dad passing. They kind of give the impression they weren't all that close, even though his dad kind of knew what was coming, knew knew the score basically. So I promise day. this is not a prompt totally. for me to spend the next twenty minutes troubleshooting shit. I'm curious, you guys. How does it look from your end? The frustrating thing is on the OBS monitor, it looks fantastic. Never better. 
But, uh... Oh, look at the little monkeys. Uh, or they're not monkeys at all. Holy shit, I've forgotten every weapon in this fucking game. <laughs> or every button in this Guys, fucking game. Guys, we got a that. little problem over here. Uh, cool. that's Just dodge. I'm trying to remember what Alone? dash strike is. The deal? Oh, man. Stop bitching, start killing. Watch us do it. Here we are. Here, pronto here. You're on fire today. So weird to see uh, Xbox prompts in this game because I played it on PS4. Dash strike. Yeah, you can't stop that. What can I say? This one's out. just for you. Where'd you place this on your Final oh, yeah. Fantasy ranking? That's an interesting question. It's up there, to be honest. Um, I like. I don't know. I did like the Goldens, you know. Six is real good. Nine's real good. Fourteen is really good. I really liked eleven. Twelve is really good. Some thirteen, two, and three are. Good. 13-3 is really good. Hey, Braxman. Uh, I'd put it in the top five. But in terms of, like, I'd, ha I'd have to think about the list to be able to order it. And then there's all sorts of particulars, you know? Do you, uh... Hold on, let me... I just gotta look at this. Okay, this will work. A, oh, B is warp? Oh, it's like lock on then warp, right? I think. Tactical chocobo. Oh, no, wait, I don't want type A. Okay, never mind. Fen hold, roll dodge, attack, sprint, hold, warp, jump, techniques, right, tactical choke, <laughs> lock on is right bumper, so how do you, warp is Y, it's lock, I was doing lock on warp and it didn't do anything, no, who cares, I'll figure it out. Most intriguing. It's triangle? No. I thought so. Yeah, it's it's the warp button, but you have to lock on and then if you hit warp you'll, you'll strike. Keep it in my net, but it feels like 40 to 50 FPS, good, good. It's, 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 I mean, it, I'm putting out a solid 60, but the internet is dropping, like, half those frames, so. That's a little frustrating, but. What am I, what am I doing here? I haven't read any quests. See, this is, this is the thing I worried about, like, uh, including RPGs in the roulette thing, is that I don't know what I'm doing in any of them. Holding, holding key. So the princess winning in Altissa. Why is it telling me to go here? Oh, that's a custom checkpoint. Fuck. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Got it. Got it. I have never gotten anything more than I got it now. Last thing I need now. I okay, yeah, works right. Got it. I'm, get, I'm just getting everything. Nothing to it. Final Fantasy 15, 5 out of 10, not enough white supremacists to kill. Yeah, it's becoming a weird trend, isn't it? Uh, I think that's a, that's a hyper reductive uh, complaint to make. I'm like, it's it's like it's one thing. You have a wait with the reviews that complain about the story. I haven't finished the game yet, so we, so even like giving the maximum benefit of the doubt, it's like uh, it's even like saying you have a point, but it's not fair. Like that that is a subjective thing and not really something you should dock a game score for. And yes, there are ways to objectively review a game. Like those are those are kind of all the points that I feel like uh, games reviewers still haven't gotten around to or haven't uh, haven't embraced. It was really fucking annoying. The last time there was a dust up about this, there was a lot of like jerk off motions on Twitter. Of people being like, "Herf, derf." Reviews are inherently subjective, sort of, sort of. There is a way to uh, there is a way to judge a work of art or or relay its value to another person objectively. The goal, I think, the goal of a review should be to tell someone else. Whether or not it will interest them. And yeah, that requires a lot of empathy and communication this skills. Because it's not, this is what I yeah. thought. That's an opinion piece. A review is, here's why you should care. Or, should you care? I always approach my reviews that way. And I, well, of course I would think so, because I wrote them. But I was like, man, 
This is good shit. This is exactly what I'd want to read if I were trying to figure out whether or not I, was, I should care about this game. But I feel like that also got lost in the reviews process somewhere. It didn't become about the person reading, it became about the person writing. Like, you have to have a personality, you have to be funny, you have to We're here. prove your expertise time and time again. Become this weird insular nerd thing. Using streaming PC to capture this? I am. I am indeed. So I hope it doesn't look like shit. Playing from another save, is this a, or playing from another save is this a totally different save. Um, I played the game on PlayStation 4, and now I'm playing it again on PC. So I'm, I'm a little lost. Because uh, it's like, I haven't played it in a long time for one. The controls for 15 are different. They're not necessarily bad, but they are different. And, uh... Let's see here. Oh yeah, I called a key. I can go talk to Dino! Hey! Hey, ooh, hey, hey! Everything in order. I can resume yep. listening through all the Final Fantasy tracks. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Ben Boy. Thanks for the reset. Watching a stream for about a month or two. I was wondering, would you ever do a stream with fun test members or other people in general? I don't see why not, but... For next story, Lady Luna Shut up. Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming... I don't have any reason to do that. Cannot express. I want to play games, you know, I don't... Unreceiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue. Bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. What's that? I do? Buzz off. See, like, when they talk about them getting married, he's like, Ugh. Oh, it's like he's, like, quirkily... quirkily embarrassed about how much he likes Luna Freya? I don't buy it, man. I don't think he gave a shit. He doesn't give a shit about a lot of things, which also I think is valid for his character. But that means there's not a whole lot to him. Hey! I see the sea! I don't know. I see it too. This confusing. Well, it's golden key. This game's confusing. Kind of when it comes to a story that fights itself, that big mountain behind it? Noctis is a character, like, there is a very subtle change. He, he, he gives a shit at the end. He gives a shit about being a king. He gives a shit about protecting uh, his country. But he doesn't give a shit about anything else. Ever. He just kind of, like, rolls along with everything. People die and he's like, ah, uh, dang. But by the end, he, like, he at least becomes a king, and that's pretty cool. Um, uh, but. I don't buy that he gave a shit about his dad or Luna. Freya. Anyway. Um, talking about busted stories. Are you holding? going to hold off Far Cry streams for only when you can do co-op now? No, absolutely. Outside. I'll keep playing. Nothing like nature in the middle Far Cry 5's in the roulette, my man! Uh, I just gotta vote for it when it comes up. Why can't I drive the car myself? Come on now. Come on now, no, no, no. Come on now. Let me... Whatever. Gotta park Everything it. in order. Yep. I won't lie, I got the feel that they were white supremacists from the trailers. I, when I realized they weren't, I wasn't upset. It did not detract from the game. Religious zealots are just as dehumanized. I gotta be honest, I did too. Um, I, when I first saw the imagery of the game, I was like, oh shit, they're going there, huh? I was like, man, good for them. But then once I saw the trailers, I was like, no, it's kind of not that, is it? It's just the imagery of the two is so connected right now. I mean, it's kind of an unfortunate thing. Because they didn't, you know, that imagery wasn't there when they started planning the game. <laughs> He's a true millennial, apathetic and tired. Man, well said. That doesn't make me like him less. I want to say that, you know? And yeah, Julian, you make a good point. Noctis is a teenager, or if he isn't, then he acts like one. I'm down with that. Like, I think that that's actually, like, way better writing than a lot of people give this game credit for. But there's also no real payoff to that. So, it, like, I like it because I think it's, uh, I think it's unique. Uh, it makes him feel different. You know, he's not, he's not typical plucky anime hero. 
but at the same time, they don't use it for anything. He just kind of... Just kind of sighs about everything. He definitely doesn't care too much about Luna, aside from Platonic. Yeah, Platonic is the best I got. They were childhood friends. And I think him being such a little, like, do-nothing asshole, he was like, get married? Okay. That they explain later why he's a bit off to the wedding. Oh, do they flank? Okay, I'll keep my ears open. That's one of the reasons I'm actually really... I really want to play this game through again. Because I get a strong feeling that there's a lot of texture to the story that I missed. Um, and having kind of like kind of knowing what's going on now, maybe if I play through it again, I'll see it again. And I know a lot of a lot of Japanese not narratives are written that way, so they're meant to be played through multiple times. That's why they make everything so implicit. It's a Kingdom Hearts phenomenon. Oryx Culinary Chronicle. This is gonna teach. Oh, he didn't say it. Damn it. Huh. Oh, Mega Player, you leaving? Alright, man. Thanks for dropping in. Hope the uh, stream experience was good enough. That's still a big old red box, though. Big old red box. It says I've dropped 60% of the frames. I'm kind of shocked that you guys seem to think it's not that bad. Take a shot from here. From my end, it says good it's now unwatchable it's garbage. Time. But. Ready or not? Hey, whatever, man. Oh, love the lighting. Nice paint job on the regalia. Yeah, the PC version came with a lot of a lot of goodies. There's a there's a What's Cindy. The port closing. <sighs> Some kind of hold up in Altitia. Guess there's we have a Cindy skin night. as well. It's pretty pretty classy. Hello and welcome. This guy has some shit I need to buy, if I if I recall. I gotta buy all the Final Fantasy soundtracks. Thank you kindly. Most asaply. Um, what's the peppers? He had some sh you had some shit, bro. I remember. It was for was it a fillet, maybe? Uh, Please, I'll come again. Later. Can't watch because we're streaming, but I'll, I'll be here when we're done. Well, have a good stream, Elfkeeper. Is this place amazing or what? It is actually pretty amazing. The breeze is quite refreshing. Christ. Didn't think I'd enjoy the seaside this much. Well, it sounds like it's made a good first impression. Uh. to make my deliveries it's so pretty though i remember uh this looked good on like ps4 pro but fuck me graphics have gotten better man they really have there's been a chunk there's been a clunk like a generational tick happened games made for the one x and the ps4 pro started coming out but it didn't hit in a wave they started trickling so there there is this generation of games now that hits this Appreciably higher spec that I am uh, I'm super okay with. Man, it's watchable. Shit. Welcome to Golden Key. Well, I'd hope for more than that, but it's gonna can't do everything. I'm afraid you're out of luck. <sighs> Fucking Arden, man. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler. Ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh, shit, right. <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, although I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. So Arden's also a really kind of fucked up, we a fucked up villain. He's really good. His dialogue's super good, and he's voice acted very well. But his motivations are. Completely unintelligible. <sighs> That's a good snapshot, my bro. Oh. <sighs> this is really cute. Ah. <laughs> Man, 
man, that is the best outfit. I don't know if- I probably don't have that. Just anything with Barrio? Oh shit! Man, these are really cute. I never did- I never did beat, uh, the giant turtle. Adam and Toys. PC should have the near music. It was for all versions before PC came out. You mean, uh, like the soundtrack in the game? I like how this game was more about the journey than the destination. That's very true. Um, and that's, that's why I still like it so much. Um, despite there being some, you know, pretty serious problems with the story. Or at least some, a lot of friction to the story. You love Arden as a villain? He does very well in villainous scenes. Dude has so many layers on. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, prompto. Alright. And finally, Ignis, the best. The best bro. A new recipe. Serious question? I don't know if you have any knowledge about this. What's the difference between the full game of this and the mobile version? Because when I can tell that his same with the mobile version is free. Uh <laughs> I only played the mobile version for like 10 minutes, and it was kind of a chibi version of this game. I didn't get to any combat or anything, so all I can, I mean, it sounds like you've been playing the mobile version, so behold this and see if it is in any way more impressive than the mobile version. But yeah, it did seem like a really to the mother of Pearl. amusingly accurate adaptation. We use the freshest fish in every dish. Look at the menu. Steamed crab with rock salt? That sounds amazing. I can't afford any of this. Oh yeah, this is like the most this is one of the most expensive uh, hotels in We'd the appreciate help with these troublemakers. Oh, There's some to read about him in chapter 13, I think, that really explains why he hates Noctis' family and stuff. I do remember it being something like a a bloodline uh, feud. Like, he had some shit go on, and he was like, I'm gonna actually erase your entire family forever. And that was that was what he was doing. This one's a special he basically played nations against each other to... to, to make it so that, uh... he could get in. Or that the king would get killed, and it would basically destroy their, their magic barrier and shit. It's it's pretty cool. It's, it's a real, like, Emperor Palpatine thing, where he played a lot of people against each other politically to create a power vacuum so he could get in and do what he wanted to do. I like I really like that part of it. But as far as why, like it was it was weird because for as like textured of a villain as he seemed to be, um It's just weird when somebody is so cold and calculating but they're doing it all out of revenge, you know? Especially not even against the people who did anything to them. It just seems like such a weird combo of like, okay, you're so mad you went crazy. Or you're so so like hate-filled. You're kind of crazy. But at the same time, you were able to plot about it for, like, years and years and years. I guess it, it's a, like a Count of Monte Cristo thing, you know? Which fits. Actually, thematically fits very well, so. Man, it's hot. Don't uh, lose the... Whiny ass. <laughs> Wait, Vivian Westwood. Isn't that a real person? A feature on the wedding. And get a load of Lady Luna Freya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Ready to set sail. <laughs> just gotta find my sea legs first. That's what makes it creep. <laughs> Better hurry. Or what makes it challenging. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to a hunt. Oh, whatever. Good enough. Also, it was weird. There was a point. There was a point in the story where, like. Tracks. Chop chop, Prompto. We're uh there in a jiffy. He just shows up and he's like, hey, why don't you do this? And they're like, dude, who are you? And he's like, I don't know. And then they just sit there and they're like, well, I don't have any ideas, so let's do that. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? You know he's fucking with you. It was one of those weird logical things where like, oh, we better like we have better know what he's fucking us with or something. Why is that red? A little strong for me, huh? 
Come in. Help. Come in. Nice. Good. Gladio. How are we holding up? Getting by. Yeah, these are a little, little high level for me. Of course. Here I am. Pacto, you're up. You know, you might be able to counter if you started hiring the problem. Dude. I'm impressed. Mean thing to say. This whiny old Noctis. Okay. Hell yeah. We got this. Shit. Ow. Really die. You realize that, like, you gotta save Noct. Uh. Exterminators have the most RPG job in the world. Quite the formidable foe. Every day it's like, go kill 15 rats or whatever, and they do it, and then they get gold and money. They have to use, like, equipment. What? Oh. Mind if I do? Gladio, do it! Is that a buzzball? You know it is! Nice work, Gladio! Knocked! On top of it! Get a lot of those. Excuse me! Yeah! Fucked up! How big is this game? It's. No it's sprawling. It is, it is, nothing to sneeze at. Got it. That was a close one. Too close for comfort. I'm comfortable just being alive. Oh. That wasn't the thing I have to kill? Those were just crabs? Have you played any of the DLC for Final Fantasy XV? Excuse me, Final Fantasy XV. Um, I played the Choco Moogle Festival, but no, I haven't played any of the episodes. Oh. I bought them all on, on PlayStation because I was like, I like this game, I want to play these someday, and then I, I never did. So, now I have the chance to play them all in glorious 4K HD Super Res Mega shit. Alright. Um, well, I think it's been long enough. We've enjoyed the sights and sounds of Final Fantasy XV for a bit. <sighs> Damn it. This fucking frame drop shit is killing me. Um, I don't know. This is so weird. Let me see what it... Uh, I don't think it's anything on my side. I don't think it can be. I guess I'd hoped that it would have... Uh, would have lightened up by now. Hmm. Everything looks fine here. At least in my log. Yeah, number of drug frames due to insufficient bandwidth and connection stalls. That's all it says. When the combat flows in this game, it feels so good, but when it fumbles, it fumbles so hard. I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, you're right, though. Um, I mean, there's like the there's the pause, there's the screen shake. There's all these um, there's all these little things that really crash down the momentum of a really good fight. But if you hit if you hit all your parries and you you're you're you know using. Uh, Using your skills when they are available, doing chain strikes and stuff. The camera does. The camera moves around really smoothly. So, there you go. Uh, pulls up. I'll let it run for a little bit. I'm gonna go around and get this uh, treasure. Oh wait. Oh man, it's all the way around. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's why we're here. Let's explore. Get some fucking treasure. Get some motherfucking treasure. Uh. Remember all the buttons. I'll remember them all someday. And then I'll stop playing and I'll forget them all again. Oh shit. Hmm. I can run over here. Hopefully that's something I can just run up. 
sweet. They come out at night. Yeah, it told me that twice. I just assumed since monsters were there that that was some version of it. I can just, I'm just, I, yeah, I'm just running around until the sun goes down because I don't want to have to run it back out here again. Damn it! Fuck. Oh, uh, they're fucking with me. I'll keep going around. Did you ever use any of the Dreamcast online functionality when it was live? Blessed weather. I did plug it in. Um, and I, I loaded some web pages, but that was it. I didn't get I didn't have Fantasy what? Star or anything like that. You can't get up there like that. Okay. I think create streamer hype more than controversy, so which do you prefer? Final Fantasy 7 or 8? 7. I like 7 a lot. I mean, I haven't, I haven't... I guess I haven't replayed 8 lately? It was fun enough, but the story fizzled pretty hard. And the junction system... didn't have the same appeal as Materia did. To me, at least. It was... I, I liked the fact that they were experimenting. But... You pumped for Spider-Man? Yeah! I am. That game looks really good. Honestly, I'd be pumped for anything from Insomniac. But, I mean, the fact that it's Spider-Man is all the better. Just recently beat this game. Yeah, this game's great. Yeah, man, that, that fucking... The latency... Stream latency is pretty nuts. That poll's been up for a while, and only now the votes are starting to roll because it just now showed up. Stinking hot. It did. Yeah. I don't have timestamps turned on, but... It'd be interesting to see the lag between when it hit chat... Someone's shutting those hips out. But yes, as previously stated, um, duplicates do not count. The bot will screen those out, so there's no need to vote multiple times. We'll just let that old girl sit there for a while. Let freedom ring. Let the people say what they like. Curious what the... Uh, the old Twitch uh, network analyzer has to say about all this. Twitch inspector. It's, it's dumb. It says, like, audio video configuration issues detected. Address the following. It says, the stream's unstable. Check your network connection. And what do you want me to do? What you want me to do? Yeah, so it just says unstable. Yeah, just crazy ups and downs. I'll, uh... I'll have like 10 seconds of stability and then... And then nothing. <laughs> I'm waiting for this monster to come out so I can kill it. Ah, that's stable now. Ten seconds. Ah, ah, ah. No. So yeah, it's weird. It's it looks like it's the entire thing seems like it's okay. There, there have been some some chunks where it's gone up to sixty FPS, but it seems like it's locked at twenty point five for most of the time. Which who knows what the fuck for a nice night at Final Fantasy fourteen whiskey or rum. I'm gonna say rum. I've been getting into rum lately. I'm being a rum boy. A little bitty rum boy. So that's my recommendation. Although for tonight, I got some buzz balls and some vodka. So. It's going to be a grand old time. Actually, hold on. Let me check what the vote's at. I'm curious. Probably going to kill this monster and then we'll move on from there. Uh, actually, wait. I'll have to call it because I need to start downloading it first. Whoa! Lead dangerous in the lead, but a very slight lead. I don't know how long that's going to take to download. So, the plan was, because I got like a fucking ridiculous bandwidth package. It's like, oh, I can just download the game in the background of the stream. Um, because I can. It actually downloads that quickly now. But, uh, well, I guess since the stream's fucking up anyway, it doesn't really matter, does it? Alright, 
Man, it's a dead heat between Elite Gotta Dangerous dark. and Gears of War 4. Better brighten things up. I think... I'm going to call the tie in Gears of War's favor. I think that's what I'm going to do. So hold up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw us into the game zone real quick. Because i got to start downloading it. Which also means I probably have to uninstall some shit. Gears 4 is a really pretty game. And, uh... Man, people need to uh, people need to appreciate that. Yeah, there's some some uninstall shit going on here. Get out of here, big games. Because I remember that Gears of War Four is fairly large. Behold the Microsoft Store. I don't know, g g people just passed on Gears of War 4. I thought it was really good. I, I really like the single player anyway. Holy shit, that game is way bigger than I thought. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's very big. I gotta, I gotta uninstall some more things. Gears of War 4 is 220 gigabytes. So, uh, yeah, that's intense. Yeah, sorry guys, the, um... The, uh, the tracker thing for the, the poll is actually closed once it says it's closed in chat. But the stream is so far behind that, um, you're gonna see it for a while. Because internet's sucking dick tonight. I don't understand why, man. It's crazy. It's, I've never seen anything like this. Then again, I haven't streamed a whole lot from this this particular house, so if this happens a lot, at some point I probably will have to call Spectrum, but like, I guess I could test it just by leaving it on random clips and just call during that, troubleshoot it. Yeah. It's a bummer. Um, I was hoping that this would be a pristine and beautiful stream, but... Thing is, I care about that a lot more than anyone else does. Drunk as fucking orange juice and tequila. Uh, just up to some Final Fantasy stuff. Anything else in the plans for tonight or should it just pass up before work? Um, you should probably sleep before work. Uh, that's, that's a thing. But, as far as other things going on, yeah, I'm going to be playing some other stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> eh, never have, like, a tickle, but you don't actually need to cough. So then you try to force it, and you just sound stupid as hell. Anyway, I'm going to, uh... Yeah, I'm going to play some more stuff. Uh, it's, I'm doing the, the voting thing. This is the glorious, uh, glorious return of PC gaming. How do I vote? Ver voting is closed. I mean, you're gonna hear that a long time from now. So, yeah, downloading, downloading Gears of War now. It's gonna be a bunch of games. Yeah, that's the idea. I can't, I can't adequately show it off though, which is kind of a bummer. What's your download speak? Speed like one gig a second, or what's up? Uh, it is 400 megabits. So, divided by 8, that's 50 megabytes a second. Which is pretty fast. Although Gears, I think, is probably one of the biggest games ever. So it's going to take a while. <laughs> it might take like 10 minutes. But, but what you going to do? Now, the thing that bums me out a lot is that I... I guess in an effort to make the stream a little more stable, uh, I turned off low latency mode, which makes the delay pretty nuts. Like 20, 30 seconds. Maybe even more than that. I don't want Damons, I want... Glamhoths. Did you hear about Conor McGregor attacking? Uh, in not directly. Like I didn't read about it. I just saw some headlines and I was like, mm, okay. All right, all right. I mean, like no one, no one expected him to be the a pinnacle of polite society, did they? I'm not gonna say it surprised me. If it's true, innocent, proven guilty, and everything. Even though he was cuffed. But then again, they do that to people. That must be a... Thanks for the resub. Big heck. That's a big, big heck. It is nighttime, isn't it? 
How can this not count as nighttime? <sighs> Sleepy. Do you, fam? I'm sure these people oh, enjoy you doing are. you more than enjoy their disillusioned BS anyway? You mean in terms of, like, streaming? <gasps> This is the problem, and it gets hard to have a conversation. For shame, Spectrum. I had to stop, but I love me some tequila when I can drink. I, I've i never been one much for tequila, but I'd like to get into it. Are you gonna show me that stupid message again, or are you gonna give me some fucking glam hots to kill? Alright. Now we're talking. 17! Yeah. Well, I'm doing damage. Not much, though. Coming up. We're hoping that that. I did not do a lot of damage. Sure did not. Certainly expect this much trouble. Good. Wouldn't expect any less from you. Good. I don't know. Was a good salt two minutes before I saw it move? Before you saw what move? Hey, Biggie! Yeah. Go for it! Yeah, where's, 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 where are you at, Prompto? Yeah, good looking out! Oh, there you are. You got my message late? Oh. Yeah. That's kind of the problem. That's the problem with all that. Damn it! Thanks for that. Hey, no, no. no, the internet the internet is sucking real hard tonight. It's real hard. God damn it. This might be a little out of my depth. I swear I've gotten good hits in on some of them. Oh, that, that one, okay. I missed! Man. Nice. I don't think I can... I don't think I can kill these guys. Really Stay alive till I get there. Away. I did it. Okay, well, I didn't know that <laughs> I didn't know that that'd be so hard. Playing a bunch of 360 and PS3 games. Uh, any suggestions on titles people missed out on? I it's should play. It's real pretty here at night. And yet, yeah, by all accounts, it pales in comparison to old Tisha. Seriously? I guess it depends how how obscure you want. Catherine was super good. Uh, the original Nier is really interesting. <sighs> I want to keep watching, but I'm at the dip. The buffering is getting pretty rough on my end. Have a good stream. It's real bad, man. It's real fucking bad. I might, yeah. You know what? I might just call it. Uh, this is this is not this is not fun for me. Like I like interacting with people, and and the ridiculous buffering is kind of preventing me from enjoying that. So. Yeah. We'll do this another day. Maybe tomorrow. I guess in the meantime I can call Twit, or I can call the fucking internet company and see what's going on. <sighs> anyway. Shit. Um, well, here's here's kind of the idea. Um, I, I'm gonna leave the stream up. It won't necessarily be gaming, but I'll leave the stream up, I'll play like a bunch of shitty clips and stuff. Um, so I can, in the background, try and figure out why this is being so shitty. So, I guess you can hang out if you want, but hopefully the buffering won't drive you crazy. And, uh, hopefully I can, I can figure out, I can get to the bottom of this stuff. This was fine. This was totally fine before. I don't know what's going on. So, apologies guys, but, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's bumming me out too. It's... It's not even an, a minor annoyance. Like, the inability to talk with people is... What is this, then? It's just me sort of rambling into the void. Which I guess is always what it kind of is. Who cares? Alright, well, thanks for, um... Thanks for trying. 
And uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get this unfucked. Uh, have a good weekend. Hope I'll stream again soon. Bottom corner of the software. You now have all the knowledge you'll need to make the strategic commander your secret weapon. Use its power to crush your opponents and achieve flawless victory over all your challengers. Incredible, huh? Yeah. Hot new software and all new hardware. Better hardware? You bet. The redesigned Toaster 4000 has new custom chips that take advantage of a powerful new partner, the state-of-the-art Amiga 4000. Together, they add up to some awesome video power, from mind-blowing new kinds of effects to user-adjustable video timing and an even better Genlock encoder. All that, plus a stunning new breakthrough. You're now watching Toaster 4000 play back this 3D animation in real time without an expensive single-frame VCR. Well, that's incredible. So you can see why we say the Video Toaster 4000 is pushing the revolution to the next level. And I'm ready. Faster, better, and easier. Now the only limit is your imagination. Time to begin. So unleash your potential. Infiltrate the networks. Make money. Make a statement. And whatever kind of television you make, make it yours with the Video Toaster 4000.
eagle's food. From the eagle's nest. With Gary Greenwald. This unique program combines the dynamic ministry of God's Word, the discussion of contemporary issues, and the demonstration of God's power. Now, here's Gary Greenwald. I'm Gary Greenwald, and over the past several years, the Eagle's Nest Ministries has exposed certain things like rock and roll music, Dungeons and Dragons, marijuana, and even the New Age movement, and now we feel there's another attack upon our society. If I say something like wicked witches and demon clouds and spell books and even the zone of eternal evil, what comes to mind? What do you think of? Do you think of a coven of witches or a seance? Watch now. you'll give up to get it. Billy, Sierra, Jesse, Benny, Mary, and Frank. Running down a dream on their own, on the street and on the stage. Thank you very much. Catwalk, plug into the premiere Friday at 5 on MTV. Been a great audience. There's a lot of love on this sidewalk. Jim. Jam. 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 original ice maker Canada the country that's 40% frozen 100% pure and the birthplace of ice Molson ice ice brewed by North America's oldest brewery to be colder and bolder yet smooth as ice Molson ice from the land where ice was born Universal Studios Hollywood, it's Cybermania 94, celebrating the very best in computer and cartridge gaming and interactive entertainment. Now, please welcome your very live and very interactive hosts, Leslie Nielsen and Jonathan Taylor Thomas.
And now, to boot up Cybermania 94, a very special guest. Please welcome the First Lady of the United States. I sure hope she has health insurance. And runes are typically very uh, Celtic in, in tradition, no, is that right? No, no, they're Wrong. actually Norse or Anglo-Saxon okay. in tradition. It's the Norse or Anglo-Saxon alphabet. And the site I recommend for divination is one by Mary Greer. And they point...